Hi, hello. Today we'll be talking our first sliding window question. Find k length substrings with no repeated characters. Let's see what this question is all about. All right, so let's see what will be our flow. First, we will understand question. Then we will take an example. We will discuss about this. Then we will find and we will identify the pattern from this question so that we will find that if we can apply a sliding window or no. And at the end, we will go with the code template. And for this code template, I'm going to use Scala and I will implement using functional programming. Let's talk about the question. In this question, they will give us a string. Suppose here is a string. They will provide a K, which is an int and they're asking that find all substring of size k with non-repeating character from the string. So this is our string and that's our k which is our uh, sub size of substring and we have to find all substring with non-repeating character. So the condition is non-repeating character. That k could be a size greater than s or that k can be less than equal to s. That's the question. Now let's take an example and better understand. Now let's take an example. We will take a string, which is A, B, C, D, C, A, and suppose K is equal to three. Now what we will do, first we will find that do we have to implement using sliding window or no? So we will find what this question is talking about. The first thing it is saying that we have to they provide us a string. Okay, that's fine. And they said find substring. So this is required a substring of some size k, which they have provided. Let's suppose three here. And there is a condition which is non repeating characters. All right, considering all these points, we know that we can apply sliding window because we have a string we have they're asking for a substring they provided a constant size of window and they provide some condition which apply on the window size which is a non-repeating character amazing so it looks like we can apply sliding window so let's see how we will implement on this example so the first thing what we will do we will take a left pointer we will put it here at the very start we will take a right pointer. We will put it here. Initially, we never reach the size of window, which is 3. We will move our right pointer next. Still, we never reach the size of window. We will move the pointer further ahead. Now we reach the window size. Now this question belongs to a fixed window size. It is a fixed window size. So we will keep the window size here of size 3. Let's put this example down here again. Now our window size is this, which is three. What I will do, once I make the window size three, I have a possible candidate with non-repeating character. And I can see that this has non-repeating character, all are unique characters. So this is a possible candidate. So I will keep a count. I will put a count here, which is going to keep on updating when it finds some possible candidate. Yes, we found that. This is one. Now we will move this window further one step ahead. So now this is a fixed size window. We're not going to change the size of window. On each iteration, we have next possible candidate, which can be or cannot be because of the condition which is given, which is the non-repeating character. So we look here in this window, B, C, D, we have all unique character, they're non-repeating. So yes, it's a possible candidate. And we have found another one. We will move this window further ahead. It will move further. Now we have a repeating character. It cannot be the part of non-repeating character. We won't count it. We move this window further ahead. Now at this time, we found all unique character again. We can found that. So we know there are three substring of size k with non-repeating character. This is the question all about. 
let's talk about the code template as we have talked that we will use like uh, here like s dot zip with index and we will say fold left and here will be some parameters and there we will implement the logic that will be our template so what will be going on here let me explain and you can better understand this question pretty easily so this is our string and that string is a b c d c a we say zip with index so what we are doing here we are going to make all of that like a zero b one c two all of them we will get like they will zip this with each character will be zipped with its index like a at zero b at one c at two and so and so and at the third part what we will do we will say fold left and here we will provide some values which will be for left our left pointer it is our substring that is going to be like our window and here we will consider the count which is the result this is what we will uh, initialize here and in the case what we will get we will get all these three things here like left we will get substring and we will get the count and here we'll get the character of each iteration and that will be the right index so I, I, I will summarize that so here this is where we will initialize these things with the values like count is equal to zero initially we don't have anything we have substring which is empty we have left at zero and here will be the character and right will keep on moving with each iteration so let me point out here what I am talking about so this is left that's left that's right what I'm saying and here with each window we have all these characters this is a substring so that will be our substring and for each iteration we are going to get the character which will be that one so this is our ch and the right index is actually pointing here so this is our right index that's right this is left so everything is here and with each iteration we are going to get the count which is here so we have everything in this iteration now what we will do we will simply create that simple logic that if we will get the size of window we get the window size which is greater than our k greater than or equal to our k in that case and all the logic will be here so what will be the logic that will be very simple what we will do every time a new character ch is coming we will append it with the string so here will be our character so that will be our new substring that will be our new substring and what we will say we can uh, we can just simply say that okay make the set of this so we will we will convert it into a set so let's suppose if we have a b c if we will make the set the size will remain three if we have c b c and we will make a set that size will become two now that's a simple logic that we are looking at so we will just compare the size of set if it is decreasing or like this but it's not equal to that we will say yeah there is some character which is repeating and we'll keep on moving forward let me make a picture of fold left how you have to think about that so i'm not going about the technical perspective that how fold left is working just for the sake of an idea that how it's working so let's suppose if we have this whole string in that case we are just making a size of our required k so this is our k here and here suppose I just make the size of some uh, some some window so I'm saying that 
this is the size of window you have initially then you you will get the next one and then you will get third one you will get again so you will get again this so let, let, let me talk about that what is this in this example what we were talking about this a b c d c a so once the first window is here so we are talking about this a b c so it will fold it just like a, if you have a paper strip and you just uh, fold it of equal size but in this way first you have abc here and in the next window uh, at, at this point what you have is once this move window shift further so you have bcd here bcd and next we will fold it with the size of c d c and here we'll say d c a so for sure these two are not there but in this four iteration we know that uh, in this case we have all unique character we found our first window with non repeating character in the second one here we have b c d so we have non repeating character we found another one in the third one you can see this is c d c that is repeating character this is not included and that one is also included so it looks like this so this is our window uh, our once we, we were folding left so what if you can just think about this like this so we are just folding them so this is of size that's on the top here this is a blue so we have the next one then we have the next one here so this is how we just fold it whatever the size we were expecting so uh, in our code we'll keep the left here and we'll keep the right here so this is how we will fold right now let's go to the code and we will see how we can implement that welcome back so we already know that we have to use sliding window to solve this question and how we will go with this first we will take our string we will zip with index zip with index now we will say fold left and here we will initialize our parameter like we are saying the left pointer should be on zero the substring in our window right now is empty and the number of the the number of substring we have found right now with non-repeated characters are zero so we have initialized all of them so what we have initialized actually we have initialized left with zero substring in our window and this is our account uh, and let me make up one more parenthesis here and with each iteration of full left the first letter the first uh, we will get the first actually character here and we will get right index so oops so what we'll do next the first thing we will get a wall we will find what is the window right now we will say right minus left plus one that is the current window and we say if this window is equal to k we, we found the window size we will do something for sure that there will be some logic else if we never come to the size of window what we will do we will keep on our like we will keep the left pointer where it is right now we will keep it there we don't we don't move it and with that substring we will concatenate our new character with each iteration and the count will remain the same zero in this part where we have found the window size the first thing we'll say okay what is the new sub str so uh, the new sub str will be our sub str like the current substring plus we will concatenate the character so we found our new substring what i'm saying is like we are a b c d c a and we are here the left pointer was here and now we come here right so we will make our uh, new substring new sub str that will become a b c 
Now at this point, once we have our new substring, we will make a decision, okay, what will be the new count? New count. So for the new count, we are saying if the new sub str dot to set if you will convert it to into set and we say what is your size if it is equal to new sub str dot length if the string length is equal to the size of the set then it means they are unique characters they are not repeat, repeating characters we will increment the count by one else we will keep the count same and finally we already reached the size of window we will just move our left pointer one step ahead and we will use new sub str but at this point we are going to just use the tail from the tail it means once we have let's suppose a b c well if we have a string a b c so if we have string equal to a b c in that case head means a and tail mean equal to b c right so here what we are saying new substring dot tail and we will use the new count and that's it and here we will return the count so this uh, this is like one to three so from this tuple we will just return the third one which is the required count in in the question let's run the code and see and it works thanks